Today's show is about one of my favorites. We love to go to Carrabba's Italian Grill. They have absolutely the best oil and spices to dip to. And it's supposed to probably be a secret. And I finally, I think, have compiled the list of ingredients. So let's go through it. So it starts out with black pepper. Now, if you have an open black pepper shaker, you could do about a tablespoon of it. I'm just going to take, and I would just put it in like this, and then I'm putting them in my spice shaker. Now, I just use one that says Italian seasoning. It's just an empty one that I have. I use it for that. So let's go through them all. Here's the ingredients. So basil. So we're just going to take a tablespoon of basil and put that in there like that. Okay, and we have red pepper flakes. Now red pepper flakes, we don't like a lot of it. So what I do with that is I just put a couple of sprinkles in my hand and I dump it in. If you like a lot of red pepper flakes, go ahead and put a tablespoon in there. Next, we have oregano. Now I'm Italian, so oregano is definitely one of my favorites. And, uh, of course, I use it a lot for pizzas, but here we go. We're just going to put a tablespoon of this in, just like that. And then next, we're going to use some parsley. Just open up your container. Get yourself a nice heaping tablespoon of that. And what's nice is you can stir up your shake while you're in there just like that and then next we have some garlic powder now you can also put in some fresh garlic too if you want really the garlic powder is enough so a tablespoon of that in there and then we have some onion powder kind of like one of those things wherever you use garlic you have to also use onion looks like my onion is getting a little bit dry here you know these spices when they get old just pitch them get yourself some new fresh spices this one here this is good to open this up and kind of rough this up a little bit kind of need to be done. I'll have to do that some more. I have a spice grinder. I could just dump this in my spice grinder and then just put it back in the container again. And then for salt, I like to not use a lot of salt up front in the beginning. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this in here. You can always add more salt in what you're doing. And then you just take and put this in your shaker and give it a good mix. And just mix that up really well. The way the measurements for all this stuff, if you're on a computer, right now in the lower right hand corner you're going to see the subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button and then you'll see the more button which has the recipe on it. If you're on a cell phone and you turn your cell phone up and you hit the subscribe button, then you'll see the more button with all the recipe and the measurements on this. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time.